Today we're diving into the world of the best starting pals that will help you thrive in the game. If you're looking to maximise your resource gathering and base efficiency, you're in the right place. Let's jump straight into it. The first pal I want to talk about is none other than Kativa. This adorable feline companion is a game changer early on. Not only does Kativa boost your carrying capacity by a whopping 50 when in your party, but if you gather a squad of 5, you'll enjoy a staggering plus 250 to your carrying capacity. That's a serious upgrade for gathering early on. When stationed at your base, Kativa becomes a minor maestro, chipping away at stone pits and providing you with a constant supply of stone. Their versatile skills make them ideal for running crafting workbenches, transporting resources and even working at berry plantations. So don't hesitate to station a bunch of Kativas at your base to enhance your early game experience. Next up we have Tanzi, a fantastic all rounder for your base operations. Much like Kativa, Tanzi boasts handiwork, transporting and gathering traits, making them a great multitasker. The real game changer though is their planting and lumbering skills. Assign Tanzi to work on specific parts of your base and you'll enjoy a steady supply of wood and food, two crucial resources. When Tanzi is in automatic work mode they seamlessly move around the base tackling various tasks as needed while it may take a little bit longer to accumulate a specific resource it's an excellent strategy for those times when you're away for an extended period just remember to pair tansy with a water type pal if you want them to work on plantations efficiently the third pal i want to talk about is pengola once you catch one you can set them up for dedicated work in plantations or let them roam freely in automatic mode pengola can handle both plantation duties and power the crusher a fantastic tool for grinding materials into other parts this includes turning wood into fiber or stone into paladin fragments essential for various crafting recipes the next pal i want to talk about is vixie the magic happens when you place them in a ranch vixie can dig up various items including pal spheres and must have resource for catching more pals they also unearth arrows and gold adding to your ever-growing collection of valuable items pair vixie with pals like lambol and chickpea and you'll have a dynamic trio producing wool eggs and various other resources consistently it's a setup i've found particularly effective during the early hours of the game the last pal i want to talk about is similar to vixie but it's going to get you quite a bit of gold at the start of the game and this pal is Mao. You want to get Mao and store it in the ranch so you can have your Mao and your Vixie digging up pal spheres and gold for you. This is just an absolutely incredible way to get ahead of the game at the very start. And there you have it, the best starting pals to kickstart your adventure on the right track. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe for more pal whale content and let me know in the comments which pals are your go-to companions. Until next time, happy hunting.